Okay, we got this R29 up here now. We'll hold it up here close. And maybe you can see. Okay, that's the right hand cam. Maybe they're showing up in the camera. You see the dots, maybe. Pretty close there. Okay, this is the left cam. Okay, maybe you see how the cables are laying there, centering in the dots. Looking down over them, you know, with the bottom cable superimposed by the top. Okay, now I'm going to use this whiteboard here and draw some pictures for some illustrations and do a little explaining. Okay, this picture here illustrates a bow that is correctly set up. Cables are splitting the dots both sides. Now this is not drawn to scale. Center of axis, each axis, measure center of each axle 10.5 inches. That's your goal. When you're done, that's what you want this to look like. Now remember, you need to get your cam lean out first. I talked about that in the previous video. Okay, this still shows a bow that's in time. Okay, this arrow here represents me pulling back on the string. Okay. To simulate adding twist to it. When I do that, this cam would move this direction. This cam would move this direction. So adding twist to the string, you can see what it would actually do is it would actually advance the cable position in respect to the cam in this direction toward the front dot. Same goes over here, okay? Cams would be coming around like this. Now, I just showed you the direction the cams move when you pull back on the string. Adding twist to the string, okay, they go in this direction. Tightening the cables goes in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to pull the cams around like this. And in doing so, I'm going to advance the cable position in respect to the cam going to move in this direction and in this direction toward the back dots okay in this picture here both cams are symmetrically positioned except they're positioned when you look down through the cables closer to the back dot okay now if I add twist to the string which would be the same as pulling back on the string okay going to make this cam go this direction and this direction. So adding a half a twist or a twist to the string here would bring these cams around and move this in this direction toward the middle of the dots. Situation here where the left cam looking down through the cables is on the back dot. The right cam looks good. Okay. So what do we do here? Well, we can't adjust the string and remedy this situation because it's going to move both cogs, okay? So it would, we might make this one look good, or look, make this one look bad, or vice versa. Like this one here now looks good, this one looks bad. So we must adjust the cables. So which cogs cables do we adjust? Okay. Remember when we pull on the string, we move this cog this way. If we tighten the cable, we move the cam this way. So what we need to do in this situation here is we need to adjust the cam that actually looks correct. And we need to turn it, okay, so that it times in down here closer to this dot like this one does. Okay. And then after we do that, we do a add twist in the string. And we rotate both cams, okay, this way, and this way. And that will center these here where it's sitting down low over here, where it's sitting here, it will bring it around, okay. This right here is probably where a lot of people get a little confused. They think maybe the one that looks bad is the one they should be adjusting. Well, that's not necessarily true. picture here denotes probably... Especially running OEM strings and cables. This is what you may see if you lay your bow down in the off season and you pick it up. You may see it riding closer to the back dots. Okay, and it has a good chance it may actually be symmetrical. Okay, 
meaning the bow is still partially in time. But in this case here, adding maybe a half a twist of string to each end of the uh, string, uh, a twist to each other string, will get you back up here in the middle, okay? Again, check your ATA. This picture shows a bow that's timed correctly. But when I measure my ATA, I come up about a sixteenth or thirty second long. I got the cable split the dots on both sides, but my ATA is just a tad long. So what do I do? Well, in this situation right here, probably a good idea to put a half a turn in each cable. Okay. And uh, cock your bow after you do it. Let it set for just a few minutes. Let it down and measure it. I think you'll find that your ATA will generally will shrink just a small amount. And your timing will be still on the money. 